morning, guys. I'm Miles Baker here at the Flying Bee. We're going to do our Quinity barn check today. Um, we'll tag Trevor in later when he gets out of bed, but for now, y'all are stuck with me. Let me tell them who you are. Uh, look at the camera. Smile. This is Biggie Smalls, the notorious DOG. Yeah. They have the best dog ever, though. Gotta have the best name ever. He's basically the manager. It's 6 a.m. I've rode four horses already. This time of year, it's mid-August. It gets so hot, it's hard on the horses and cattle. So I'll start about 3 o'clock in the morning and ride two and three-year-olds. This is Nala, she's one of our three-year-old mares, and uh, today was her turn, so we just got done. I'm from Southwest Oklahoma. Snyder, Oklahoma is the town I grew up in. And I had the luxury of getting on good colts when I was young. My dad had an eye for good young horses. He always had good two and three-year-olds, and they had the talent level to run and stop and turn, and it just gave me a feel where I was young that, like, if I can do this, I can I can recreate this stuff. So I've had it in my blood to train these horses and, and to sell them. And I just get them to a point and I'm like, this horse is ready to go. This is the main barn. This is where most of the futurity horses are and like jackpot horses, the studs and everything's in here. I'm gonna show y'all a few of these horses that I'm pretty excited about. This one right here is a four year old mare. We call her Gold Rush. She's by first down dash and out of a daughter of Corona Cartel. She's so intriguing to me because she's hands down the fastest horse I've ever rode. We're making a head horse out of her. I'm actually gonna take her to a futurity next week. It'll be her first time to go, but she's uh, just crazy. There's a different kind of fast with horses like her and she's definitely the fastest one I've ever rode. So I'm really excited about her. These younger horses, they put in work. It's just like an athlete. They're just constantly pushing themselves, exhausting themselves. It's hot and they need to recover. It's our responsibility to make sure that we keep them physically fit and strong and keep their bones and their tendons and their ligaments and their joints cared for. This next horse is a four-year-old stud we call Kilo. So far, you know, we're kind of at the end of summer and he's already won about 70,000. He's just real talented, real special horse. He's a huge stopper, he's real kind, and he's just a fun horse to be around. The stars kind of aligned when it come around to Trevor and I's partnership. He was retiring from rodeo, and when he retired, he started sending me some horses. I rode the horses in Oklahoma for the first probably two, three years. The real turning point for being down here all the time was we had a real bad tornado hit our place in Oklahoma. Luckily, everything that was up there survived and we moved him down here. I've lived here for two full years now. It's not a friend situation anymore. It's 100% family. Where is Tristan? Y'all know where Tristan is? Oh, hey, let's rope. You need help? Give me a boost. Think your dad's awake yet? Surely by now. Yeah, he's probably Snapchatting while we're down here working. TV! I really don't know where he's at. He must still be in bed. You guys ready to get started? This is 
can't really talk about anything here at the Flying V without starting with the arenas because that's where we make the magic happen. starting out you don't have much help the better you set up your arenas for practices the more economical and realistic it is my calf arena is 60 feet wide the team roping arena throughout my career it doubled as a steer roping arena that's probably why it's a little bit bigger than most arenas and if you look they are tied together by the same alley if I wanted to bring up the calves I just switch everything across and they run. It was always just rodeo and calf roping, team roping, steer roping, but there was always horses involved and like stepping away from the competition side of it. Now I know how much of my passion was just in the horses and so that's evolved into the futurity business and then now breeding our own, they get better faster and just been brought up to be strictly rope horses. Just been a lot of fun. Probably the different thing that you see here versus a lot of arenas, and I'm seeing them a lot more now, but these boxes, uh, put them in relation here, they're pretty tall. Uh, so like when a horse is backed into the corner, especially the young horses, there's not a lot of looking at other horses tied up or anything. Their focus is on the steer where it should be and it kind of gets trained. So I think it just creates good habit. So we'll take you on over to the indoor arena. Right now we're riding a lot of really young horses in here, three and four year olds, mainly three. So this caution tape you see, will be brought across here so they'll get used to running through that so the barrier's never an issue. This arena is quite a bit narrower. Head horses have to learn how to deal with the left wall. This arena is crucial. As I built on piece by piece to this place, I just wanted everything really practical. I wanted everything close to my horse barn and my tack room. You can never have enough saddle racks when you're in something like this because some of the old saddles that meant so much throughout my career, I hold on to them for several reasons. You can see the bits that I have on the wall are the ones that I'm using right now. I'm definitely a bit geek. Just love good old bits, good new bits. That's just crucial in training horses and having something that they're comfortable in. I'm always trying to learn to see what's best for the horses. We'll stop here. This is, uh, his barn name is Bugatti, but his registered name is Bama Fury. So he's probably 16 hands. He's a four year old. So he's been a really special horse because he's got the size and the speed, but he also has foot speed like a cow horse. He's definitely one of my favorites. I think the reason that the Relentless Ramuda has had so much success in the futurity business is because we stay all about the horse. There was a time where if we had 40 horses on the place, maybe four or five get supplements. Now, everything gets equinity. It helps so many different areas. You know it's gotta be good, so you hate to withhold something that not only repairs them, but makes them a better version of whatever they are, whether it is a mare or a stallion. We just wanna make great horses and give them the best chance of success or reach their full potential, whatever that may be. My trailer setups have definitely changed since I haven't been rodeoing full time. I had Twister make uh, this six horse trainer trailer for me. They call them a trainer trailer because you'll see the tack rooms on the other side is a lot different, but this is just, just horses, mangers all the way throughout. Every door has storage all the way down. 
you can see it's just so much easier to when you're saddling. Everybody can access this a lot easier than just a single door setup. Well, now you've seen about everything around here. So uh, all I hear is Miles is always up all the time and slaving away. So now that it's hot, nobody can find him anywhere. So we'll see if we can't find him and tell you guys goodbye. On behalf of both of us, I'm Trevor Brazil. Thanks for following along on my Aquinity Barn Check.